On a misty October morning, the tranquil town of Willow Creek was thrown into turmoil by a discovery that would shatter its peaceful facade. The air was crisp, tinged with the scent of fallen leaves and impending winter, as the sun struggled to pierce through the dense fog. In the garden of a suburban home, the lifeless body of 25-year-old Mei Lin lay sprawled on the grass, her delicate features twisted in a final expression of terror. Recently married into the affluent Huang family, Mei had quickly become a beloved member of the community, known for her warmth and artistic talent. Yet now, she was a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurked beneath the surface of this seemingly idyllic town. Detective Andrew Collins was called to the scene, his reputation for unraveling the most complex of mysteries preceding him. A seasoned investigator in his late thirties, Collins was known for his sharp intellect and meticulous attention to detail. He arrived at the Huang residence to find a group of onlookers gathered outside, their murmurs of disbelief rising above the chorus of chirping birds. As he stepped past the yellow tape marking the perimeter of the crime scene, he was struck by the unsettling contrast of the lush garden, a place once filled with laughter, now transformed into a tableau of horror. As he approached May's body, the sight of bruises around her neck sent a shiver down his spine. The evidence suggested a violent struggle, one that had escalated to an unimaginable climax. A single diamond earring lay beside her, gleaming ominously in the muted light, a stark reminder that beauty could be intertwined with tragedy. Collins knelt beside her, studying the scene with a practiced eye. He could sense that May's death was not just a tragic accident, it was a story woven with threads of jealousy, betrayal, and possibly vengeance. The arrival of the Huang family added a layer of complexity to the investigation. Hua Zhao, May's mother-in-law, stepped out of the house, her expression a chaotic blend of grief and bitterness. At 55, Hua was a well-regarded socialite in Willow Creek, known for her poise and charm. Yet, behind her graceful facade lay a fierce protectiveness, particularly regarding her family. The tension between her and May had been palpable, growing worse in recent months as May's presence in the Huang family threatened to overshadow her. Collins noted Hua's eyes, glistening with tears, yet shadowed by something darker, perhaps regret or resentment. As the family gathered around, the atmosphere shifted. Long Huang, May's father-in-law, emerged from the house, his demeanor a mix of shock and denial. A retired corporate executive in his late fifties, Long had built a life of respectability and success, his easy charm winning over the townsfolk. But now, he stood paralyzed by the enormity of the loss, grappling with the suddenness of it all. May had brought joy and creativity into their lives, and the abruptness of her death left a gaping void that would never be filled. Jun Huang, May's husband, was also present. At 28, he had recently established himself as a promising lawyer, balancing ambition with a deep sense of loyalty to his family. The grief etched across his features was palpable, a haunting reminder of the life he had envisioned with May, now irrevocably shattered. Collins observed June's struggle to maintain composure, his eyes darting from his mother to his father, searching for answers that seemed to evade him. As the investigation unfolded, Detective Collins began to sense the intricate web of relationships within the Huang family. Each member was ensnared in their own emotional turmoil and their connections were tinged with jealousy and unspoken resentments. Hua's protective instincts had morphed into something more sinister, and Collins couldn't shake the feeling that the diamond earring, so out of place next to May's lifeless form, held the key to understanding the motives that lay hidden beneath the surface. The fog began to lift, revealing the full horror of the morning's events. Collins knew that unraveling the truth behind Mei Lin's death would not only require careful examination of the evidence but also a deeper exploration of the family dynamics at play. As he stood over the scene of the crime, the whispers of the past began to echo in his mind, urging him to dig deeper into the shadows of the Huang family's tragic narrative. This was not merely a murder, it was a story steeped in complexity and Detective Collins was determined to uncover every layer of it. 
As the investigation into Maylin's death unfolded, Detective Andrew Collins began to unravel the intricate web of relationships within the Huang family. Each member played a crucial role in the tragic events that led to the young woman's demise, and Collins quickly realized that understanding their individual histories was essential to piecing together the puzzle. Mei Lin Huang had been a vibrant force in Willow Creek, her 25 years filled with art, love, and ambition. A talented painter, she possessed a unique ability to capture the beauty around her, transforming everyday moments into vivid works of art. After marrying into the Huang family, she had become a beloved figure in the community, known for her kindness and down-to-earth nature. However, beneath her gentle demeanor lay a complex web of secrets. May had entered the Huang family with hopes of forging a close-knit bond, only to find herself navigating the treacherous waters of familial tension. Her relationship with Huai Zhao, her mother-in-law, had started amicably but had soured over time. May often felt trapped between her desire to please and the mounting pressure of Hua's possessiveness, leaving her feeling isolated and misunderstood. Hua Zhao, at 55, was a woman of grace and undeniable charm. A socialite in Willow Creek, she commanded respect and admiration from her peers, her connections weaving through the very fabric of the community. Married to Long Huang for over 30 years, Hua took immense pride in the family's image, ensuring they were always perceived as the epitome of success and elegance. Yet beneath this polished exterior lay a darker reality. Hua's fierce protectiveness over her family morphed into an obsessive jealousy, particularly regarding her husband. Her relationship with May deteriorated as she began to see her daughter-in-law not as a source of joy but as a threat to her carefully curated life. This growing animosity fueled a toxic rivalry that would ultimately lead to devastating consequences. Long Huang, at 58, was a respected figure in Willow Creek. A retired corporate executive, he was known for his easy-going nature and his unwavering devotion to his family. Long's charisma had won him many friends, but he remained blissfully unaware of the jealousy brewing within his wife. He had always treated May with kindness and respect, offering her encouragement in her artistic pursuits. However, Hua interpreted Long's affection as a challenge to her own place in his life, leading to her increasingly erratic behavior. Long's obliviousness to Hua's mounting resentment created a chasm in their marriage, a rift that would become evident in the wake of May's tragic death. Jun Huang, at 28, found himself at the center of the unfolding tragedy. As May's husband and Hua and Long's only son, he was deeply shaken by the loss of his wife. A lawyer by profession, Jun was known for his calm and diplomatic nature, traits that served him well in his career. However, in the face of his wife's sudden death, he was thrown into a whirlwind of grief and confusion. Torn between loyalty to his family and the burgeoning suspicions that swirled around his mother, June struggled to reconcile the man he thought he knew with the mounting evidence suggesting Hua's involvement. As the investigation progressed, he began to uncover the undercurrents of jealousy and resentment that had permeated his family dynamics, forcing him to confront a harrowing reality he had never wanted to face. As Collins delved deeper into the lives of the Huang family, it became increasingly clear that each member was ensnared in a complex web of emotions, jealousy, loyalty, love, and betrayal. The detective meticulously pieced together their stories, recognizing how their intertwined fates led to the heartbreaking tragedy of Mei Lin's death. In the heart of Willow Creek, a tale of family drama was unfolding, one that transcended the mere act of murder and revealed the deeply rooted psychological turmoil that had culminated in a devastating climax. The detective's quest for the truth would lead him not just through the evidence of the crime, but into the very souls of the players in this tragic narrative, each grappling with their own demons. Detective Andrew Collins approached the Huang residence with a keen sense of purpose. The air was thick with an unshakable tension, a palpable energy that hinted at the storm brewing beneath the surface of this seemingly affluent family. As he crossed the threshold into their meticulously maintained home, 
he steeled himself for the task ahead. He knew that unearthing the truth about Mei Lin's death would require delving deep into the intricate relationships that intertwine the Huang family. The first interview began with Hua Zhao. As she sat before him, impeccably dressed in her designer attire, there was an unsettling coldness in her demeanor. Collins observed her carefully, noting the way her hands fidgeted ever so slightly, a stark contrast to her poised exterior. Her responses were clipped and controlled, each word meticulously chosen to paint a picture of grief and loss, yet they betrayed an undercurrent of bitterness. When she referred to May as ambitious, it was laced with disdain, revealing more about her feelings than she intended. Hua's eyes flickered with an emotion that Collins recognized all too well, jealousy. She insinuated a deeper connection between her husband, Long, and May, subtly suggesting an inappropriate relationship. These veiled accusations hung in the air, creating an ominous atmosphere that Collins found troubling. In contrast, Jun Huang's interview presented a different dynamic. The 28-year-old lawyer appeared visibly shaken, his calm demeanor cracking under the weight of grief. As he recounted the events leading to May's death, his voice trembled with emotion. He spoke of his wife's recent anxiety, hinting at the increasing strain in her relationship with Hua. The closer he got to expressing his fears about his mother's hostility, the more evident the conflict within him became. Jun was torn between loyalty to his family and the lingering doubts that nagged at him, doubts that began to blur the lines between love and suspicion. As Collins continued his investigation, he delved into Hua's motivations, uncovering a trail of misunderstandings that had fueled her jealousy. He learned that an innocent moment had spiraled into a full-blown obsession. Hua had once witnessed Long gifting May a family heirloom bracelet, a gesture intended to honor May's artistic achievements but interpreted by Hua as a personal affront. The jealousy that blossomed from this moment grew into a relentless need to surveil her daughter-in-law, convinced that May was actively seeking to undermine her marriage. Hua's perception became a reality, leading her down a dangerous path that would ultimately have tragic consequences. The detective's search for clarity took him to May's art studio a sanctuary filled with her creations. Here, he uncovered a treasure trove of insights in the form of May's diary. The worn pages were filled with her thoughts, reflections, and fears. As he flipped through the entries, Collins noted the evolution of May's feelings about Hua. Initially, there were descriptions of her mother-in-law's protective nature, which May had naively dismissed as caring. However, the tone shifted dramatically as Hua's behavior became increasingly hostile. May's words revealed a woman grappling with the unsettling realization that her once warm relationship with Hua had deteriorated into one marked by suspicion and resentment. Collins meticulously noted the entries where May expressed her growing unease. She recounted instances of Hua's disapproval and the increasing frequency of their confrontations. One entry detailed a particularly painful moment when May felt cornered and questioned by Hua about her activities, a conversation that left her shaken. This newfound insight into the mother-in-law's psyche was invaluable to Collins, painting a picture of a woman whose love had twisted into something dark and suffocating. As the detective pieced together the mosaic of relationships, it became evident that the path to uncovering the truth would require not just evidence but a deep understanding of the emotions that drove each character. With every layer he peeled back, Collins sensed that the key to solving May's murder lay not only in the facts of the case but also in the intricate web of familial ties, jealousy, and long-buried secrets. The investigation was no longer just about a death, it was an exploration of the human condition fraught with complexities that transcended the simple act of murder. In Willow Creek, the truth awaited discovery, hidden beneath the layers of grief, love, and betrayal that bound the Huang family together. As Detective Andrew Collins delved deeper into the Huang family's world, the investigation unveiled a tangled web of deception, jealousy, and unaddressed grievances. The seemingly tranquil facade of their suburban home began to fracture, revealing the turmoil hidden beneath. 
with each layer Collins peeled back, he found threads that connected the family's emotions and motivations in ways that no one had anticipated. One afternoon, Collins made his way to Hua Zhao's study, a room decorated with elegant furnishings and adorned with framed portraits of the Huang family. The atmosphere was heavy, echoing the weight of secrets kept within its walls. It was here that Collins discovered Hua's hidden journal, tucked away beneath a stack of magazines. The leather-bound book felt ominous in his hands, a testament to the inner workings of a woman consumed by her emotions. As he flipped through the pages, he was struck by Hua's candid expressions of frustration and resentment towards May. Her entries painted a portrait of a woman increasingly threatened by her daughter in law's presence in the family. Hua referred to May as a threat, her words dripping with venom as she chronicled her growing anger and paranoia. There were passages where Hua alluded to moments when she contemplated taking action, a chilling foreshadowing that sent a shiver down Collins's spine. It became clear that Hua's obsession with maintaining control over her family had spiraled into a dangerous fixation that blurred the lines of reality. In stark contrast, Collins also uncovered May's final text messages to her closest friend. The messages, sent in the days leading up to her death, revealed a woman grappling with fear and uncertainty. May detailed her worries about Hua's irrational jealousy and her unsettling suspicions that Hua was following her, documenting the subtle intrusions into her life that had become all too frequent. In her messages, there was a palpable sense of dread. May had felt trapped in a world where her once beloved family had transformed into an oppressive entity. These digital breadcrumbs added layers to the investigation, suggesting that May had been aware of the brewing storm long before it culminated in tragedy. Long Huang's reaction to the revelations was profound. A respected retired corporate executive, Long had prided himself on his family's reputation, but the allegations against his wife shattered his sense of security. As he processed the contents of Hua's journal, Long felt the foundations of his world begin to tremble. The realization that Hua had harbored such intense feelings toward Mei, his cherished daughter-in-law, left him grappling with feelings of betrayal and confusion. The emotional distance between him and Hua widened, creating a chasm that would be difficult to bridge. Meanwhile, Jun Huang found himself in turmoil. Initially, he had stood by his mother, believing in her innocence and the love that should bind their family together. However, as the investigation unfolded, whispers of suspicion began to creep into his thoughts. Memories of Hua's venomous remarks about Mei resurfaced, tainting his recollections of their family interactions. Jun recalled instances where his mother had accused Mei of attempting to destroy their family, a charge that now felt all too real. The more he learned about the extent of Hua's jealousy, the more he questioned the very foundation of his familial loyalty. The tensions reached a boiling point one evening when Wang confronted Hua in their opulent living room, the walls adorned with family portraits that seemed to watch over the chaos. The air was thick with unspoken accusations and painful truths. Long demanded to know the reality behind the simmering animosity that had consumed their lives. He wanted to understand how a woman he loved for over thirty years had allowed her jealousy to morph into something so dangerous. The confrontation was electric, filled with raw emotions that had been pent up for far too long. Collins, observing the fallout from his investigations, realized that he was not just piecing together a murder case, he was uncovering the profound cracks within the Huang family. The love that had once united them had deteriorated into suspicion and bitterness, creating an environment ripe for tragedy. Each character, from Hua to Long in June, was ensnared in a narrative driven by deep-seated fears and unrelenting jealousy. As the detective continued his pursuit of the truth, he understood that the key to solving May's murder lay not only in evidence but also in unraveling the intricate web of human emotions that had spiraled out of control. The family's unraveling story hinted at the devastating consequences of unaddressed feelings, showcasing the fragile nature of trust and love within the confines of familial bonds. 
As Detective Andrew Collins delved deeper into the Huang family dynamics, the shadow of Hua Zhao's jealousy loomed larger. The investigation began to reveal a series of events that hinted at the dangerous tipping point of Hua's emotions, suggesting that the facade of harmony had long since crumbled. Collins sought insights from the family's housekeeper, Lin, a woman who had served the Huang family for years. Her steady hands had prepared countless meals and her keen eyes had witnessed the family's interactions, often unobserved. During their conversation, Lin recounted a heated confrontation she had overheard the night before May's tragic death. Hua had accused May of ruining the family and had demanded that she leave. Lin's voice trembled as she recalled the intensity of the argument, the air thick with accusations that hung heavily in the household. The exchange had been laced with desperation and anger, revealing the depths of Hua's feelings and the lengths she would go to protect what she perceived as her family's integrity. Lin's testimony became a crucial piece of the puzzle. She further disclosed that, just hours after the argument, she had seen Hua in the garden where May's body would later be discovered. Hua had appeared distressed, muttering to herself as if grappling with a tumult of emotions. The image of her wandering near the scene of the crime painted a picture that could not be ignored. Collins felt the weight of these revelations, they suggested that Hua's emotional turmoil had escalated to a point where she could no longer contain her actions. Amidst the mounting evidence, Hua's attempts to manipulate June became increasingly apparent. In the days following May's death, she tried to weave a narrative that would shield her from suspicion, reminding June of their family's reputation and insisting that May deserved what had happened to her. Hua's pleas were drenched in a desperate need to maintain control over her son, framing May as a villain in a story that had always portrayed their family as a united front. Yet, June found himself wrestling with conflicting emotions. The more he learned, the more distrustful he became of his mother's intentions. Collins, recognizing the growing tension within the family and the potential for manipulation, secured a search warrant for the Huang residence. With a sense of determination, he arrived at the opulent home, its grandeur a stark contrast to the unraveling truth within. As he combed through the luxurious rooms, he remained acutely aware of the weight of the family's secrets, each corner echoing with unspoken words and hidden resentments. It was in Hua's lavish vanity drawer that Collins uncovered a small box. As he opened it, his heart raced, nestled within was May's missing diamond earring, a stark reminder of the night that had turned so deadly. This singular piece of evidence provided a tangible link between Hua and the crime scene, shattering any illusion of innocence she had clung to. Collins could almost hear the whispers of the family's unraveling trust as he held the earring, a testament to the consequences of jealousy that had spiraled into violence. The discovery deepened the investigation, illuminating the dark corners of the Huang family's interactions. It became evident that the emotions and tensions Collins had uncovered were not merely incidental but were the very fabric of a tragic narrative woven with the threads of jealousy, betrayal, and desperation. The implications of Hua's actions began to crystallize, suggesting a woman driven by an obsession to protect her family at all costs, even if that meant silencing the very person she had once welcomed into their fold. As Collins stepped back from the discovery, the reality of the situation settled heavily on his shoulders. The investigation was no longer just about solving a murder, it was about unearthing the psychological battles that had raged within a family torn apart by suspicion and envy. The breaking point had been reached, and the fallout would leave scars far beyond the confines of their home, a family forever altered by the tragic consequences of unchecked emotions. As Detective Andrew Collins entered the Huang residence once again, the atmosphere felt heavy with unspoken truths and lingering dread. The diamond earring, a seemingly innocuous piece of jewelry, had transformed into a symbol of the unraveling narrative surrounding Mei Lin's tragic death. Collins clutched the small box containing the earring, feeling its weight as he approached Hua Zhao, who sat rigidly on the edge of her meticulously arranged sofa. Her graceful demeanor now seemed brittle, an illusion fraying at the edges. 
Collins laid the box on the coffee table, the action deliberate and laden with significance. Hua's gaze flickered towards the earring, her expression shifting from shock to indignation. She quickly denied any involvement, asserting that it had been planted to frame her. Her voice, usually smooth and commanding, quivered slightly under the weight of Collins's unyielding scrutiny. The detective sensed her defiance, but beneath it lay a tremor of anxiety, a subtle crack in her carefully constructed facade. As the questioning unfolded, the tension in the room thickened. Collins was relentless, methodically peeling away Hua's defenses, exposing the layers of jealousy and obsession that had driven her actions. He pressed her on the evidence, her escalating hostility toward May, the diary entries filled with resentment, and the account of her altercation with May the night before the murder. With each probing question, he could see Hua's composure begin to erode. In a moment of sheer desperation, her resolve crumbled. The reality of the situation crashed down upon her, and tears filled her eyes. Hua's confession spilled forth, a torrent of anguish and regret. She revealed how her jealousy had spiraled out of control, driving her to confront May with accusations that felt increasingly desperate. In that fateful encounter, as May dismissed her wild claims, Hua's emotions overwhelmed her. She recounted the moment of rage that had taken over, the visceral reaction that had led her to strangle her daughter-in-law in a fit of uncontainable fury. Collins listened intently, his mind racing as Hua's words painted a chilling picture of a woman ensnared by her own demons. Hua insisted that she had never intended to kill May, labeling her actions as a moment of madness. However, Collins had seen enough to understand that this was more than just an impulsive act. He pointed out the premeditated nature of her behavior, emphasizing how she had followed May around town, documenting her every move in a desperate attempt to control a situation that had spiraled beyond her grasp. As Hua's confession unfolded, the detective glimpsed the true depth of her obsession. It was as if she had become a prisoner of her own mind, unable to separate her twisted perceptions from the reality of her actions. The emotional turmoil that had consumed her rendered her unable to recognize the boundaries between love, jealousy, and madness. Meanwhile, Long Huang, who had been in another room, quietly entered as he sensed the gravity of the situation. His once charismatic demeanor had given way to a haunted expression, the weight of the revelation hitting him like a physical blow. As Hua's confession unraveled before him, he stood at a crossroads, grappling with the horrifying realization that the woman he had loved and built a life with had become something unrecognizable. The image of Hua as the devoted wife and mother began to fade, replaced by the grim reality of betrayal and violence. In that tense moment, Collins observed the fracture forming between husband and wife, the emotional distance widening like a chasm. Long felt himself drifting away from Hua, his heart heavy with disbelief and sorrow. He struggled to reconcile the memories of their life together with the monstrous act of which she had confessed. The weight of betrayal pressed down on him, suffocating the love he had once felt. With Hua in custody and the details of her confession stark and damning, Collins understood that the investigation had reached a crucial turning point. The complexity of family ties and the destructive power of unchecked emotions had culminated in a tragedy that would leave lasting scars. As he left the Huang residence, he couldn't shake the feeling that this was only the beginning of a far more complicated journey, one that would expose the intricate web of relationships that had led to this harrowing conclusion. The trial of Hua Zhao unfolded in the vibrant town of Willow Creek, quickly transforming into a media spectacle that captivated the community and attracted attention far beyond its borders. Once a family revered for its affluence and prestige, the Huangs now faced the harsh glare of public scrutiny, their reputation hanging in the balance. The courtroom, filled with spectators eager to witness the drama, buzzed with whispers of speculation and judgment. The prosecution presented a compelling case, painting Hua as a woman consumed by jealousy and control. They detailed the psychological unraveling of a mother-in-law who allowed her paranoia to dictate her actions 
leading to the tragic death of her daughter-in-law, Mei Lin. They highlighted Hua's obsession with Mei and her unfounded belief that the young woman sought to usurp her place within the family. Each piece of evidence, from the hidden journal to the missing diamond earring, was meticulously woven into a narrative that portrayed Hua as the architect of her own downfall. Hua's defense team, meanwhile, crafted a narrative steeped in temporary insanity. They argued that years of suppressed emotions and insecurities had culminated in a moment of madness, overshadowing the reality of Hua's actions. They aimed to evoke sympathy, suggesting that she had been a victim of her own mental turmoil rather than a calculated perpetrator of murder. As they laid out their arguments, they sought to shift the focus from Hua's responsibility to the pressures of family expectations and societal norms. Amidst the tension, Detective Andrew Collins found himself at the center of the proceedings, his investigation forming the backbone of the prosecution's case. His unwavering commitment to uncovering the truth had unearthed the layers of jealousy and betrayal that shrouded the Huang family. As the trial progressed, he remained an unyielding presence, ready to testify about the evidence he had meticulously gathered. His dedication to justice and the memory of Mei Lin shone through as he stood firm against the emotional turmoil that engulfed the courtroom. As the days of testimony stretched into weeks, the emotional toll on the Huang family became increasingly evident. Jun, still reeling from the loss of his wife, struggled with the dual burden of mourning and betrayal. Each revelation in the courtroom chipped away at his already fragile spirit. His mother, the woman he had once idolized, now stood accused of a crime so heinous that it seemed to obliterate the memories of love they had shared. Torn between loyalty to his family and the haunting truth of his mother's actions, Jun felt his world fracturing around him. Long Huang, once a pillar of the community, found himself a shadow of his former self. He observed the trial from the sidelines, consumed by heartache and disbelief. The man who had built a successful career was now grappling with the reality of a shattered family. The weight of betrayal loomed heavy over him, as he questioned the woman he had loved for over three decades, searching for the remnants of the relationship that had once defined him. As the trial drew to a close, the jury deliberated, the weight of their decision pressing heavily upon them. The tension in the courtroom reached a fever pitch as everyone awaited the verdict. Finally, the jury returned, and the air crackled with anticipation. When the foreman read the words we find the defendant guilty of second-degree murder, a collective gasp filled the room. The verdict echoed through the hall like a death knell for the Huang family sealing their fate in the annals of Willow Creek history. Hua was sentenced to a lengthy prison term, the consequences of her actions laid bare before a town that had once admired her. In the wake of the verdict, the emotional fallout continued to ripple through the community. June, heartbroken and disillusioned, distanced himself from the family he had once cherished, choosing to honor May's memory in solitude. Long, similarly shattered, made the painful decision to relocate, seeking refuge from the ghosts of betrayal that lingered in Willow Creek. In the months that followed, Mei Lin's tragic story became a cautionary tale for the townsfolk, a stark reminder of how unchecked emotions and familial jealousy could lead to irrevocable consequences. As the seasons changed, the once vibrant life of the Huang family faded into a somber reflection of lost love and fractured bonds. Collins forever marked by the case, continued his pursuit of justice, aware that the darkness lurking within the heart of families could sometimes eclipse even the brightest of spirits.